Hello, what's up everyone? Today we will install Parrot OS in Oracle VirtualBox. Parrot OS is similar like OS Kali Linux, which is used for pen testers and ethical hackers in order to perform their tasks and get some hands on practice. So Parrot OS also Debian based distribution Kali also the same so some of them are introducing like Parrot OS is more lightweight program than the Kali so let's get started how we can install um, Parrot OS in VirtualBox first of all you have to download the um, Oracle VirtualBox and you need to install this one I have already installed this one I'm not covering how to install the Oracle VM virtual box in this video. So you can easily do that. If you want to do that, uh, just leave a comment on this section, then I can do another video how to install this thing. Um, and after that, we need to search on the Google Parrot OS. So we need to download the Parrot, o Parrot OS image, ISO -O pre built virtual machine. So I will go to the Parrot OS website, parrotsec.org. So here's the Parrot OS website. If you want to go through the documentation, you can do that. I will go to the download section. In the download section, you can see different types of downloads available. If you want to use it on Raspberry Pi, you can use this version, cloud, Windows subsystem for Linux, Hack the box version, home edition, and security edition. In this video, we are focusing on the security edition one, and I'm um, go ahead and download the security edition. You can directly download ISO if you're with Apple Silicon, especially M1, M2, M3 chips. You can download the UDM version, and for the um, Oracle VirtualBox people, you can download this version if you want to download it directly or else you have to select any um, torrents option if you would like to download via torrents. So in this case, I will download the VirtualBox direct version. Uh, you can simply click on that and it will ask to save the um, OVA file in somewhere on your laptop or desktop so I have already downloaded this security OS in my download folder as you can see so I'm not going to download this thing again so now let's move to the Oracle virtual box and we'll look at how to install this thing so as you already seen in my download folder so here's the OVA file which I have already downloaded from the Parrot website so now I'm going to install, like I'm going to import this OVA file into the Oracle virtual box. This is very simple. You need to navigate to the file and import appliance, hit on that. And you can say select the um, source system, obviously it's low, your local file system and select the OVA file. So it's in my download folder and this is the file and I will open it and if you are happy to go with expert mode you can do that I'm not going to do that because it's very simple if you are going to use the um, guided mode in this case so I will click next so here you can see um, what are the configuration how much of RAM allocated USB sound cards and stuff and here is the installation location. If you want to change the installation path, you can do that from this by clicking this arrow. And I will leave the um, NAT configuration, which is NATing the uh, Oracle Virtual Box VM with the uh, my physical machine. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. I will leave it everything as default and just click finish. So there's a little agreement, go ahead and agree that and it will import the appliance. This won't take much time, it will import it quickly. Uh, we'll leave it to import and see what we can do. This is very straightforward installation rather than installing the iOS. 
if you're going to do the um, iOS installation, you have to uh, first create the virtual machine and then import the iOS file and then you have to go to the installation steps like creating partitions and so on, select language, keyboard and stuff. So when you download the OVA file, you don't have to do like those steps. This is pretty much easier. So they are specially created that OVA file to the um, Oracle virtual box. So we can go ahead and download that OVA file and simply we can import that OVA into the um, Oracle virtual box and we are done. So as you can see now it's imported into the virtual box and we can simply go ahead and start before you want before you want to start if you want to change some settings like for example how many RAM you allocated how many processes like these things you can reduce um, let's say if I want to increase or decrease the processes like I can do it from here I'm not going to change anything like uh, this is for demonstration um, audio networking if you want to enable another adapter you can go ahead and do that from here um, leave it as a NAT you can change the USB settings shared folder everything you can change before you start the VM so once you completed all the things just go ahead and hit the start button and Parrot OL will be start like powering up you don't have to do any installation process just download directly from the Parrot website and import it to the virtual box as you can see it's, it's starting up now so this is the usual uh, starting up page you're almost there Parrot OS is a little bit faster than Kali as you can see we're done we are in the Parrot OS so it's with a lot of tools as you can see places a little bit different than the Kali but you can have a like very nice interfaces colorful icons in the Parrot this is the terminal terminal also very colorful as you can see you can use the um, sudo apt update same like Kali so it's similar distro like Kali Linux you can do the same things which you're doing in the Kali Linux it's up to you select which uh, operating system you're going to use uh, it's totally up to you even um, if you're familiar with Li Arc Linux or Predator OS, you can use those ones as well. Uh, Black Arc Linux, one of the famous one. Um, yeah, pretty much it. If you have anything, any queries, anything, please leave a comment. I will reply for that. Uh, stay tuned. We'll meet from another video in very soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.